I usually tell people, if possible, to come visit us so I can explain to them what I explained to you and show them what we're doing and tell them that we respect cheese traditions. That's why we want to make sure that they can be sustainable uh, in the future by switching the dairy landscape from animal to plant, we give a chance uh, for these traditions to sustain over time. And I think once we're able to have these conversations with people, they, they usually understand the vision. I was uh, working mainly on environmental science, analytical chemistry. Then I thought that the impact I was having before was not too big. Then I thought working for a vegan industry would be the perfect match for me because my main reason to work here is to stop animal exploitation, but it has some other pros. And one is environment, the other is uh, human health. Well, here in R&D is producing organic products. That's very challenging because uh, it's very narrow. The ingredients we can use, the process we can apply. So you have to think a lot how this process could be done in an organic way. Because there are many other possibilities, but we cannot use them. So that's the most challenging. When you tell people maybe your food choices are not the best ethical choice or the best sustainable choice, you usually get really strong reactions from people, one way or another, sometimes really positive, sometimes really negative. Um, and so I think having these conversations, bridging the gap between people's culture and traditions and better, making better food choices has been a challenge, but in my opinion, it's been a really positive challenge. I really like being able to open up these conversations. I really like also putting myself in the shoes of other people. I, I haven't always been vegan, so I understand having to change things. I understand that it's difficult. Mm -hmm.